Hurricanes are very large storms that can range in size from about 100 kilometers to almost 1,000 kilometers wide. A very large hurricane could almost cover the Gulf of Mexico. Hurricanes are known to produce high winds, high waves, storm surges, and heavy rainfalls. These conditions make the storms very dangerous, but the danger is not the same in all parts of the hurricane. Hurricanes are actually tropical cyclones that form either in the Atlantic or Eastern Pacific. A tropical cyclone is a huge storm that rotates around a relatively calm area known as the eye. Now, in the northern hemisphere, winds rotate counterclockwise. So that means the winds on the northern side come from the east, and winds on the southern side come from the west. The energy that builds the wind speed comes from the warm ocean moisture. But when the hurricane touches land, it begins to lose energy. Meteorologists build mathematical models in order to predict the path of the storm. They want to be able to warn you early and to lessen damage and the loss of life. Atlantic hurricanes tend to form between Africa and North America in the middle of the ocean. Now, the trade winds here tend to push the storms west toward North America. But there's an effect called the beta drift, which tends to move the storm north. So these storms tend to move northwest. As the hurricane moves along its path, rotating around the eye, it tends to form higher winds on the right and lower winds on the left. Now, mariners call this right side the dangerous semicircle, and they learn to move through it or just avoid the area. The closer you get to the eye, the higher the winds. But the winds within the eye are formed by the storm itself, so they maintain a relative calm. The combined effect is that as the storm approaches land, the winds on the east side are getting stronger. But as the storm's eye passes over land, the storm dissipates and the western winds become weaker. Very roughly, the wind speed at any stage is a linear graph where wind speed is on the y-axis and distance from the eye on the x-axis. Each stage has a different equation that can be found quite simply by choosing the correct data points in a storm and drawing a line between them. In the dangerous semicircle, the wind speed is increased by the storm track speed. To the left, the wind speed is decreased by the storm track speed. Now, there are several things that you can do to prepare for an approaching hurricane. If your house is prone to flooding or storm surges, make sure you listen for evacuation instructions. Trim your trees and bushes and keep your gutters clear to avoid damage from wind and rain. Make sure you bring in all outdoor furniture, garbage, or decorations so as to reduce outdoor blowing debris. Uh, cover your windows and secure doors and garages to limit the amount of damage to the interior of your home from wind, rain, and debris. Most importantly, have an emergency kit. Make sure your family knows what to do and how to communicate. Now, after the storm passes, make sure to avoid downed power lines and avoid flooded areas. And do not drink any tap water until officials have deemed it safe to do so. Well, that's a lot of information, Robert. How do we find out some more? Uh, well, you can learn more at ready.gov. Get out of here. Should, let's go now. Let's. Oh, I can't. In the wind. We need to get the furniture in. Get, it, the, get the decorations um, in. We're cutting down those trees tomorrow.